um, this is the solar installation of the roof again. Um, now with the adjustments, uh, they uh, the they need uh, 30, three feet on each side. So let me show you. Um, this is three feet from the side. I'm gonna cut it over here where the mark is. That will be the side uh, uh, three feet. There will be another panel here and then all other panels, five other panels are already there. As you can see, there is no um, wires touching the roof. They are all clipped by the special wire clips. Multiple ones are kept over there. You can see some now, it's really dark, so you can see under the thing. I'll take another video for that. Then they wanted three feet from the top. We got more. Oops. Uh, that's three feet from the top. Uh, so it's more than three feet. Um, I had previously installed them on the higher points, that's what's still there. The mounts into the wood, into the uh, roof. I cannot take those out, they part of the roof. There is a leak, difficult to remove the mounts. I don't know how to do that anyway. We have a grounding lug which grounds the. Uh, the rails to each other. Each of these optimizers has the grounding you know, web clips or whatever it's called underneath there. And um, each of the modules has this special um, grounding clips perforated at the bottom as well as the top. You can see the claws like on the top. Okay. So that's the grounding thing. It goes with the grounding there. Um, this is row one of six fiber uh, panels up there, and one is going to be here. There's the optimizer. They're connected in series, and again, this is the rest of the rail. Um, one, two, three, four, five, and six. It just fits in the frame. No wires touching the uh, roof, all held by the clips. Oops. We can do this video again later on. Oh yeah, and on this side again, three feet. This one is already done, no problem. Again, there's a mount which is the main part of the roof. The optimizers. The whole system there. Alright, so we're ready.